as I believe is safe without me falling down. Yeah, you see, it's quite overcast here. I try to zoom in a bit because we can see our market church from here. So this is our market church in the middle, this white tower. And on the left, we got our cathedral. And you see part of our Roman audience hall in the background. Oh, thanks a lot. And it's our partner town in formerly Eastern Germany. Yeah, lots of towns in uh, formerly East and West Germany found, got partnerships after the fall of the Berlin Wall or just before. Yeah, and I mean, it's really nice. We got all the connections with all different towns. So hang on. Yeah, my glasses were slipping, so I had to push them back. With privacy rights, if I want to film at a market, people usually don't like being filmed. If I do it here in Trier, they might kick me out and I might have difficulties getting tours next year. So, oh yeah, I should, we should do it. I mean, we got uh, the thing we call Zwiebelkuchen in Germany, meaning onion cake. And you usually have it with new wine. It's like, a little bit like pizza with onions and a little bit of bacon on it. Yeah, Christmas market is really bad. I wanted to do a Christmas market, but um, they will kick me out. So, because going close to the edge is a bit difficult. Um, I have to check out about Luxembourg if they are doing Christmas markets or not, because they always have to save energy. So as soon as it is clear, if Luxembourg is doing it, you will probably get Luxembourg as a Christmas market. And hang on. You see, it's quite steep here. But you can't get lost if you stay straight on because on the left hand side you got your river. On the right hand side, a little bit of wood. So, it's quite easy. Yep. I first have to figure out for Luxembourg if they... So, let's hope that they will at least do something nice. And I want to go left quite soon um let me now i take the next one left next one looks easier to me and you see we got already chestnuts and stuff lying down here so people come and collect it during weekends and it's free if you want to collect it. But I'm not sure if those are the ones you can eat or use uh, just for decoration. Oh, and funny historical story. When we've been part of Prussia during the 19th century, Trier was quite poor. And people went to the woods and gathered, yeah, little twigs like those lying down here. 
and it was forbidden during Persian times. Beforehand, it was allowed when we've been part of France, and now the new rulers told the people, nope, you can't do it, it's forbidden. So it didn't make them popular with our population. And now you will have a nice view of our town here. That's one of the nicer viewpoints. And you see, we are part of those hiking paths here. So you've got Camino, you've got Eiffelsteig, Mosel, And hang on, I managed to trip here. Yes. So you see we got our riverside here. We got soccer stadium at the back. Lots of housing here. Modern housing next to the river quite expensive but it might be flooded in winter and during summer spring you have tons of people walking around and looking into your windows so. oh yeah Eiffelsteiger still haven't done it so I should be doing it one day now it's not the one I wanted to take this is the one going down here. So we are going back to the main one and coming back to the next um, yeah, we can air bases in our region. So we might have signal, I'm not sure. But sometimes you get signal where you believe you have it and where you believe I must have signal nothing at all so it's really difficult to say i get signal or not so i wanted the small one here and the nice thing here is so far we don't have dangerous animal animals here so we don't have uh, wolves bears but we got some wolves back uh, in our region, but not next to towns yet. Otherwise, I wouldn't be walking alone. Yep, yeah, the leaves don't have the healthy color. And I read in our newspapers that a few trees, they, um, and it was really dry this summer. We had no rain for several months. So a lot of trees really suffered. And as you can see, we got people and this looks like we had some boars walking here, some wild pigs. Yeah, but you see, it's really pretty, all the green still. Oh yeah, not sure what Borken Kaffer means in English, but it's one of those insects that destroy um, the wood that you can't even use it properly for anything. And it destroys um, the trees. Oh, thanks. Bark beat. 